Okay, we're back. And, um, yeah, man. It's been a while since I played this game. And I actually went ahead and just took the time out to actually look and see what the fuck am I supposed to do from this point. And, um, because I'm not trying to leave any characters. And it turns out that a lot of the characters that I was looking for, like Naga Rider and just a couple more, um, you eventually end up getting throughout the story. So pretty much everything I've done so far and in the last part was for nothing. But there is one character I am going to go and get um, that I'm glad that I looked at the guide and I figured out um, is even there. And I forgot her name already. I think her name is like Leilani or something like that. Um, I can't remember exactly what her name is. But basically what she has is like this uh, shark. Like how can I explain it? It's almost like this shark uh, tooth chainsaw sword thing. It's really hard to explain, but you'll see when I get her. But the dope thing about her is that she um, she can go through people's guard with her little shark tooth shit. Once again, I don't know what to really call it, but it's like this chainsaw uh, sword with shark teeth. That's pretty much what it is. But yeah, essentially... Um, like, it could just cut through people guard, which is pretty fucking dope. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And, uh, yeah, we're going to continue with the story. So all the bullshit that I was doing before is just not necessary. You're going to be able to come back and do a lot of side quests I was trying to do earlier. Cause you know how some games are when they when they give you that message of like, hey, you know, are you sure you ready to go? You're not gonna be able to come back. Most of the time you don't, but I guess in this game you actually do come back. But yeah, I get Naga Rider, man. That's what I was hoping for the most, cause he looks the most dope. All right, so he took them out. There's supposedly a way that you can fast travel in this game, but it don't really seem like you can. I think you have to be by Chakra Gate, or at least at one. I could be wrong. I don't know. For the longest, I didn't even know there was a view map thing on the fucking menu, so who knows. Who fucking knows? Apparently, I don't. Oh, I did double damage that dude. Alright. This dude should be dead. Damn here. Okay, yeah, he is dead. Oh shit, I just wasted that. There we go. But yeah, man, there's so many things I want to talk about today, but unfortunately, I'm trying to save them for their own thing. The biggest one being Star Wars. I'm going to go see that shit this weekend. And oh my god, man. I genuinely didn't think that they could fuck it up that much. And, and the funny thing is about... The funny thing about it is that I kept on saying that. But I, I really didn't want them to. Because one of me and one of my co-workers at work. He's uh, way older than me. He was one of those people who basically got to experience Star Wars when it first came out. So, you know, for him... It's all about the original trilogy. There is no prequels and stuff like that. You know, it's not that he doesn't like the prequels. It just seems that they're like... I mean, because the, the prequels are dog shit to a certain extent. And he appreciates them. But, you know, for him, it's always just going to be like... Episode 6 was the end of Star Wars. And we was talking about it. And, um... You know, he was essentially saying, like... He, he, he doesn't too much care for this newer trilogy. But he had hopes that this, you know, they'll be able to turn around just like most people. And um, I went to go see this shit this weekend. And when I saw him at work today, I was just like, dude, this shit, it's unbelievable how bad it is. And he was like, damn, because he was about to go see that shit in like 4DX is what he was saying. And essentially it was like some shit where like. Basically, the theater would just do a whole bunch of crazy bullshit to make it to where, like, you was in the movie as much as possible, essentially. And uh, he was saying that it was, like, $20 a ticket and some more shit. He was just ready for it. And I was like, nah, man, don't 
fucking waste your money on this movie. It, oh fuck, uh, it makes no sense. And uh, he was just like, damn, because it was funny because he was just like, when I told him that I was gonna go see it this weekend, he told me to, cause I got him on Xbox, and um, he was just like, yeah man, just just after you see it, just send me a message saying yes or no, and I'll know which I know what to do, you know. And I told him, I said, uh, when when I sent him the message back, I just told him, or when I sent him the message, I was just like, fuck no. I, yeah, well, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I said. I said no uh, exclamation mark fuck no. And he was like, oh, is that bad? I said, yes, it is that fucking bad. I was like, I'll tell you at work on Monday. And he was just like, oh, shit. I'm like, yeah, they fucked up that bad. And I was telling them today. And, um, yeah, it, it was bad. But the thing was that he, because me and him were so into it and we would talk about it. And like I said, and I said it all throughout those videos, too. Um, like when I bombarded y'all with all those me thogs, um, related to, uh, the Star Wars series before episode nine came out, you know, it, it had been a while since I have seen, um, whatchamacallit, um, the original trilogy. So when I sat down and talked to him about the original trilogy, he was just like going crazy because, you know, he had somebody to talk to about it and shit like that. And, um, you know, in other words, what I'm getting is that he was so into it that he was just looking. Oh, here she go right here. This is the character I was talking about. You see, like how she has the oh, he has the picture, not the picture, but you see how she has like this the 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 shark's teeth. I'm pointing at the fucking screen like you can see it. I don't know why I do that still, but anyway, you see how she has like the shark's teeth on the blade thing, and it's essentially like a chainsaw too. But this is the only character I can get right now. The other characters I have to play through the rest of the story, and eventually they'll I'll get like uh, what's her name, uh, Compan or whatever it was, the little British mouse looking chick that that helps you get into the castle and all of that. Like you get her eventually, but it's throughout the story. You get Naga Rider, and I think you get one other character. But this is the last character I can collect before I actually have to go and do story shit and get the rest. Um. Yeah, I think I had that right. Leilani. Yeah, that's probably how you say it. Um, To be real with you, I want to sit here and let you read this, but fuck it. I'm trying to get this story done. I'm not saying that I'm trying to just rush through the game. It's just pretty much telling her little backstory. If you want to see it, there's plenty of other people. But as you can see, here it goes. So it says, if you, ho oh, and that's another thing. If you could just hold the attack button, so when you attack, if you hold it, it will use an attack and it'll keep on going. I was trying to show you in combat so you can understand, but it's really fucking good. But her up attack is what I was talking about, where it cuts through enemy defenses. Just like you don't even have to do all the breaking shit. You could just literally just do that and it'll cut through it, no problem. And then her down attack is like she does this rotating thing and you can just hold it and it'll spin her little things and she'll spin faster and faster. It's pretty dope. Um, I'll switch her out for Hanoch. Or switch her in and switch out Hanoch. And then, um, let's see, who can I put in, put in instead? Matter of fact, I'm going to do this. Uh, bring my nigga Dara in. And then, I ain't used ginseng in a while. But I need them heavy hitters. That's that's what I'm all about. Uh, I need characters that at least, I need at least one character that has like a decent AOE. So that's gonna be Dar. She's gonna break defense. Leilani. I'm probably gonna fuck it. Let's just bring in uh, your boy Latigo. Wow. Latigo in the house. And we'll be good. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So like. Since he was so into it and he's just always been a fan of Star Wars and stuff like that, essentially where I'm getting at with all this bullshit is that he went to the extent of like looking up a whole bunch of stuff about episode nine. And, it, and apparently he had watched a video where they was talking about that the script has le had leaked. And they and he he was telling me about it and we was talking about it. And he was like, yeah, I was watching this video and they was talking about how in the script that, you know, Ray was going to be Palpatine's daughter, which 
by the time this come out, actually, the movie's going to be like out for an extremely long time. So there's no point in me trying to say spoilers because it's going to be a minute before this video comes out. So fuck it. It turns out that she is. And, you know, we was just talking about it. But that's how much I didn't care about this movie was like when he was telling me all this stuff, I was just like, oh, OK. And um, yeah, so basically when I seen him the day I was telling him and I was like, man, do not go and see that shit in 4DX. Like, you're going to waste your fucking money. Go see that shit on a Tuesday at the theater that's near us. For fucking $5, you get a ticket. And just watch that shit for $5. Like, like I'm not going to lie to you. The best experience when it came to that movie, I shit you not, and I hate to say this, and I'm not joking in any way, shape, or form. I'm not trying to do this just to be cool and be like everybody else on the internet and shit on this movie, blah, 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 blah. I made that quite clear multiple times in, in my, you know, me thoughts over this fucking series. But the best thing and the best, uh, best part of the experience or the best, however you want to word it, basically the best part about me going to see that fucking movie was me buying a popcorn bin in a cup. Because at the movie theater I go to, they always have cups. But I didn't know they was going to have a popcorn bin. And I bought me one, and it has Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren on it. And that shit was fucking dope. And I bought that. That was $12. And then I, I haven't bought a cup from there in a while. Because like I've said multiple times, I think, at least I used to live in Florida for college. And the AMC theater I used to go to didn't sell cups and stuff like that. So... I wanted to buy a cup from there because I haven't bought one in years. And that was the best part of going to see that fucking movie was the goddamn popcorn bin and the damn cup. That was the best fucking part of the movie in my experience going to see that movie. That's how you know you done fucked up. Yeah, she says that, but it seems like you come back. If I don't, oh fucking well, because I've tried to go and find those characters. And I even went all the way back through the castle and I did all of that shit and, and I couldn't find them. So if I miss uh, Compan and, and Naga Rider, even though I went to those places, it is what it is. Here we go. Wait. This might actually be how you acquire them. Now that I think about it, this might actually be the way that you acquire them. Um, because the chakra gates are inside certain places. So this is probably actually how you acquire them. So if I go back to... No, that's not where I need to go. If I go back to... Let's see. What about the C? Because this is going to put me in certain locations that it, it was hard for me to get to. We're about to see. We are about to see. But yeah, that was the best part of going to see that movie. And I hate to say that too, because I really didn't want to hate that movie. I, I like to look up the I like to look at things objectively. Um, you can ask all my friends that. I'm, I've always been like that. Like I don't like to let what other people think or what's the popular or general consensus on things cloud my judgment. I like to look at it for myself and say, how do I feel about this? Um, oh, I can't go through this fucking elevator. That sucks. Okay. I was trying to go down or up, but it won't let me. Um, I can't get through that door. know how the fuck i'm gonna get that nigga so maybe i still can't get him right now maybe somehow i really do come back but at least i know that i can get in through here because if i run i don't bust through that door so whatever um but you know it just sucks man it really does i, I can't believe they they went the route that they did with that it i i don't want to talk about it too much because i have the entire video i want to make about it but it's just like damn dude come on like, come on. Like, you, you just can't be fucking serious with this. I don't know. And I, and, the, and the thing is, that I don't even I don't even know where they can go from here. That's the crazy thing about it. I genuinely don't know where they could even go from here. 
because they fucked it up so much. They've been killing it with the Mandalorian. And, and you know, I know a lot of people love the Mandalorian and stuff like that. I haven't really been able to watch the Mandalorian. Um, Because, I mean, I watched, like, the first, like, what was it, four episodes? But I ain't really seen any after that. Because I don't have Disney+. Plus. But, um... There's the quest marker right there. Let me see what happens if I go down here. Because I don't think I had the smash ability at this point. Oh, it's why. I can always come. I can just always load up my save. Oh, that's right. This is where we found a fucking who snatch shit. Who to snatch shit. All right. I don't remember this shit right here. Oh, yes, I do, because it leads to that one... I think it leads to where I got to fucking smash down, but I can't. And I didn't know how to fucking get through there. Apparently, I learned some ability to where I can bust through that shit. So, yeah. We just kind of did that for nothing, but... Uh, I'd rather do it than not do it, and I actually miss something. That's just how I am. So, be prepared for that in whatever game I play. I'm going to fucking search every bit of it that I can, just because. All right, let's actually get through this shit. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know where they're going to go because I haven't seen all of Mandalorian, but I know the first four episodes that I saw, the Mandalorian was very consistent. I really did enjoy it. I love the style. I love the look of it. Um, I loved all of it. So I, I genuinely don't know uh, where they're going to go with it. Where did you come from? The chakra gates. It's a portal. That thing works? I thought my guard duty was all for show. Well then, <clears throat> under authority of the Lan Monastery, I must take you into custody. The protectors will decide your fate. Wait, it's okay. She's with us. Kushi, Zebe, we were so worried. Are you all right? We are well enough, but Kala has awakened. And we must get to Sumeru. We have been escorting this young woman, Ajna, with the intention of sealing Kala once again. I see. That is serious business. Lanshi! Kushi, is that your dog? You have all the best animals! Oh, Lanshi just lives at the monastery. He doesn't belong to anyone. Let's bring him with us. I'm afraid before you do anything, you'll have to see the head monk in the monastery upstairs. What, we can't just go to Sumeru now? No. The protectors must be consulted whenever Sumeru is involved. Please, come meet Padmas. He might be able to help us. Well, all right, if you say so. I remember seeing that dog somewhere. I can't quite remember where, but I do remember seeing him somewhere. Just chilling in the background. But, um, yeah, man, I, I don't know where they're going to go. I don't want to talk about all of this because, like I said, I do plan on making a video about it, but I need some content or something to talk about while I play this game. So it's kind of just like I'm at the point where I'm like, fuck it, just, just go ahead and talk about some of the stuff, but not all of it. Um, Greetings, Ajna. You are here because you wish to climb Sumeru. Yeah. You know my name? I know many things. Then you know we need to go fast. Patience, child. I must request an audience with the protectors if you are to climb Sumeru. But I've been there once already. What's the big deal this time? The last time we went to Sumeru, Kala was awakened, was she not? Well, yeah, but... We shall deliberate on this. Peace be with you. Well, wait. You're just leaving? Let me go talk to them too. You cannot. Why not? Because that is our way and our rule. Only the enlightened may enter the inner sanctum. This is stupid. I'm plenty enlightened. And anyway, I just need to go up the stupid mountain. What's there to even ask? If you cannot follow this one simple rule, the protectors will certainly deem you unworthy of Sumeru. Ajna. Let the man go. A few more minutes isn't going to make much difference. Just relax. 
But what if it does make a difference? Patience, Ajna. I don't want to hear that from you. If you wish to make yourself spiritually ready, you may gather wisdom from the monks that surround this place. It is clear that your head is full of worldly desires. Yeah, fine. Ajna, these monks are an enlightened group. Everything they do has a purpose behind it. Indeed, they will find the best course. They seem like jerks to me. Bunch of know-it-alls. Well, they do know a lot. Anyway, aren't you supposed to be a protector, Zebe? Can't you get us in there? It is not my place to do so. And I have been gone a long time. Ugh! We're sitting here doing nothing while Kala could erase the world at any minute. Since we've no choice but to wait, let's talk with the monks around here. Maybe they will help soothe your soul. Fine, but only because you say so, Tarani. Let go of your worldly mind. The enlightened lives in the world, but does not become contaminated by it. Easy for you to say. You don't have people living in your brain. Be neither pleased nor concerned over that which you do and do not desire. And know that these feelings are created only within the mind. If you say so. She's like, yeah, nigga, whatever. Fuck on it. Cast off the possessions of your house and unencumber your soul. Desire nothing. Reject desires and be happy. Open your own treasure house and use those treasures within. My house burned down. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> she got a bit of a point, though. She, she's not lying. It's like it has no face and just these white butterflies flying around it. It's kind of creepy. Devote your heart, mind, and soul to even the smallest acts. All differences in the world are differences of degree, not kind. Oneness is the secret of everything. Cool. Good talk. Huh? These monks are all saying whatever nonsense pops into their heads. Gah! I'm so bored. Are they not done yet? I thought it was a lady. I guess not. I guess it's a dude. And it's some lady shape. What the fuck is going on with this person with these big ass things? I don't know which directions you can go. It seems like there's like a million directions you can go. Let's just go back this other way real quick. Ajna, you're too worked up. You must rest. But I want to leave. Now! Let's revisit this in the morning. Clear-headed. Shut up, Jar! Rosni, say something. She listens to you. Uh, follow your dreams, Ajna. Let's burn this place to the ground. <sighs> Fine, you're right. Let's just talk in the morning. Well, that backfired. sleep anymore everyone we're going that stupid monk still isn't back the protectors obviously aren't coming and i'm tired of sitting around we're going now ashna be patient i'm done with that it's time for action right, we can run back this way now Wait, is this the way I'm supposed to go? 
I have no idea. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Let me get the third one. There's so many ways you can go in this game. So it's just like, which way do I go? Like I could jump back down here and there was some other ways and shit. Oh no, it wasn't. It was literally just that. Well, never mind. Let's go back up. Uh, what was I talking about? I know I was talking about Star Wars, but yeah. I don't know. Only thing I can think of is that they could do is just at this point, just um, just really go in a completely different direction. Stay away from the movie. Stay away from trying to do a trilogy, and just try to do something different. Stay away from the Skywalker name. Stay away from the Skywalker stuff in general. The Yak. I'm hoping the Yak would have said something. I guess he'll join the group eventually. Well, I just saved. That's it for that. So I don't know, man. Hopefully, uh, they'll they'll be able to pull off something. I know a lot of people have been asking for the old republic, but it's like, dude, do you even trust them with that after what they've done? Because Disney and I know this is, you know, subjective. Um but for the most part, Disney hasn't made a good let me yeah. pass. We will not. We cannot. Don't you understand you're all gonna die if I don't go there? Ajna. You again. Where are the protectors? They still deliberate. But it seems they need deliberate no longer. Your actions clearly deem you unworthy to climb Sumeru. We find it hard to believe you are the one who will defeat Kala. When you exhibit so many of her own qualities. What? How dare you? We monks, alongside the protectors, have protected this land from those who would do it harm for generations. We know exactly what's at stake. That you would come here so impetuously shows us that you are not ready. You will only cause further destruction. There's no time for you to decide whether I'm ready. Get out of my way, or I'll force you aside. Ajna, no. We've got to go. You can't fight a monk. You're one to talk about who I can and can't fight. Exactly. I won't let you make the same mistakes I did. I followed orders without a thought of the consequences, and look where that got me. Gar, stand aside. No. For your own good, I will not let you pass. Finally, I got this fucking move. This is one of the moves I've been needing. Oh shit. Fuck. God damn it. What the fuck? I keep on getting hit by shit. I'm trying to save the world. Am I just supposed to wait for its destruction first? Just listen to what he's saying. As you are now, you are guaranteed to fail. Don't talk to me like I'm a child. I've come this far without you people. You have come far with the help of many others. But you are still not ready. Your body is strong. But you haven't purified your mind or your soul. Do you people want to die? Don't you see I'm doing this for everyone? Are you indeed? Ask yourself whether that is truly the case. I'm tired of these mind games and riddles. I'm going. Now! Fine. I can't stop you forever. Then go. But you will have to live with the consequences of your actions. As will we all. I'm comfortable with that. 
Goodbye. Like how my rosie was just sitting up there chilling. So that doesn't mean Dar's from my group. He disappeared. No, he's still there. I was like, doesn't mean he disappeared from my group. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Ashna, she's she cutting up, man. She's starting to be a protagonist I'm not too fucking fond of. She was cool at first. Now she's acting like a fucking ass. Oh shit, that's where we couldn't go before. That's dope. So we are back at when we first started. But uh, what was I saying? Oh shit. Listen, I'm sorry, everyone. I've calmed down now. I just can't stand people acting like they know what's best for me. We've done all this together, and they want to stop us because they think I'm immature. I do understand your feelings, but I still think you were wrong. Ajna, you acted rashly and immaturely. There was no need to talk to them that way. They were acting as they knew best. I know. I guess they reminded me of my dad when he used to lecture me. I'm really sorry, everybody. But we do need to do this. I'm worried about what will happen if we wait. What's done is done. And now we must face the task ahead. Oh, shit, I was actually pressing the bumper. The, the bumper. Um, yeah, man, I, I, I don't know what they can do because it, it everything, it, it, that's what I was saying. I remember it is subjective, of course, but everything that Disney has done when it comes to Star Wars hasn't really been that good. Episode seven has pretty much been the most solid. What the fuck is that? What the fuck are these things? Oh, here we go. This is a perfect chance you can see it. There we go. So I can do this. And just keep on doing that. And just cut straight through they shit. And that's exactly what I was talking about. That breaks straight through they defense. They defense. Defense. It's so fucking dope. You ain't even gotta worry about doing all that breaking shit. Oh shit, what, what was this thing again? Uh, what, what? I for completely forgot how you reload with this nigga. It's been so long since I've played him. Um, that's not what I was trying to do. Broke through their defense. How the fuck do you reload with that guy? I should have not done that. Oh my god, that just fucking wrecked his shit. Dude, I do not remember how you fucking reload with that guy. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember the slightest bit. Um, Hold on. That's right, his down attack. That's what it is. And you could do uh, his little thing to reload or get some special ammo and shit. That's right. That's right. I feel like I'm about to fucking cry. Um, fucking dick. Juggle this motherfucker. Let's fucking go. All right. What? Huh? Now we don't want to work. Fuck out of here. Um. Now we going through your defenses, man. There you go. Shoot the shit out that motherfucker. Oh, she stays dizzy for a long fucking time. That was way longer than I was expecting. <laughs> That's just fucking crazy. She just stuck like that, too. Oh, fuck this nigga. 
All right, hold on. There we go. We in this motherfucker now. Damn, I didn't get the combo into that shit. Cause I had to reload that bullshit. This might not be a little bad team we got going on here. This might not be a bad team. Uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, it's like the you know, outside of episode seven, they really haven't done anything that's been good, you could say. And like I said, that's completely objective depending on a person. You know, whether or not something's good. But for the most part, most of the shit they've done haven't been good. You know? And it just sucks because it doesn't have to be like that. They have the material and the writers and stories to make a tremendous uh like movie and universe and so forth but it seems like they're choosing not to because um you had episode seven which a lot of people consider to be safe oh uh, sorry i was trying to figure out how to do that shit oh wow this motherfucker got like an ounce of health Oh, wow. I think it just fucked Dar up. There we go. Oh. Uh, fuck, what was I about to say? What was I talking about? Then I started focusing on a stupid thing. It was, like, beating my ass and shit. Uh. Fuck, what was I saying? God damn it, I done forgot now. Um. Fuck off, thing. I can't save because you in the fucking way. Fucking dickhead. There we go. Damn. Damn, I just let them just fucking take her. Fuck, I forgot. You can't do that with this nigga. Um. You can do a lot of fucking damage with her. You get a lot of hits in, too. Yeah, I didn't even get to shoot. Fuck, what was I saying? 